Hello and welcome to this little clip on how to sit and how to hold the flute. So this is for the total beginners um, who start to, to uh, play, learn to play the Mansuri, the Indian bamboo flute. So here I'm taking a one which is a little bit smaller than the standard. The standard for Hindustani classic is an E flute, which is a little bit larger. This is an F flute. But you can apply the same principles to also the medium size and the smaller flutes. So we have six holes, one on the embouchure. This is the blowing hole. And we have a seventh hole here. So as a sitting position, if you're not comfortable to sit on the ground like this, you can also sit on a chair, of course. Uh, the only thing which is important, in my opinion, is to sit straight. And you can really have your spine straight, erected. And from there on, slowly, slowly, you start to relax more and more the whole body. So usually we carry a lot of tensions here. You can let them go through the middle of your body, balance it, and you can become very relaxed in the upper part of the body. So in this straight position, now how you hold the flute is a lot of Western people, when they uh, touch the flute the first time, they will instantly go like that. But the technique, the Hindustani technique, at least from the, from the Indian and classical music, for this type of flute is that you use the middle part. Here there are three parts in the fingers, one, two, three. You use the middle parts for the first two holes. And then for the third, the fingertip only. And on the other hand, the same. Two times the middle finger, uh, the middle part of the finger. And the third is the fingertip only. So that's the position. And as you can see, actually it's very natural. And you just open your hands like that. Open it and you can place it here and it's almost there. I open it and it's almost there. In the beginning this will not be relaxed. You need to train that. After you learn that and you exercise this, have some training, then the, uh, the hands can become very flexible, very relaxed, and then you can also gain some speed. But it's uh, the relaxation, first of all, is also good for really closing the holes properly. So to get the sound is depending on how you blow and how good the holes are closed. So the blowing on this blow hole is towards the opposite edge of the hole. There we aim the the airstream and you want to concentrate the airstream. Um, when you play long notes, to become able to play long notes is not a matter of the long capacity, it's a matter of the of the technique here. So there's no air wasted. It's not that I have a special lung capacity or the other big players that you, you can listen to. The technique is the crucial. And in the beginning, I found one method where you can measure it. When you lift your arm a little bit, you can feel the air. When you have a lot of air, you can feel here that it's all the waste air. When this is getting better, I don't feel any air here now anymore in my arm. What they're saying is that half goes out to half goes in, but it's very concentrated. And as it's concentrated, there's not much going dispersed here. So, now to get started with the notes, um, I made another video that you close one by another, so therefore you can watch the second video on this page. Just the sitting position like this, fingertips, and you can also start, like I will introduce in the next video, uh, which I recorded already, um, go one by another. And start to get a feeling. In the beginning, we don't feel this part. We used to feel with our fingertips, but with these, it's not trained yet. So that's the position. Yeah, have fun exploring this. Let's see.